all right guys so welcome back to another video so everybody is talking about this rct balls right the for the um for the simulator and unfortunately where i live i can't order them the only way for me to order them is to order and through the through the us and it's like a lot of uh shipping charges and everything so what i'm gonna do in this video i'm gonna try something uh i've been looking at the design of this balls right online and i've been noticing that it almost feels like all it is is just a, a metal part in the ball inside so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna grab this right here that i got from the Mevo plus i'm gonna try to shape it into a ball and throw like a little y and that's what it seems from the from the design what's inside the uh the art the tireless ball there so and i'm gonna see if it works um right now when i use these dots right here uh, they don't seem to work very well because sometimes they they calculate the distance the spin sometimes they don't and based on my reviews on what i've seen online with the with those new balls uh, they get better distance they get just overall better numbers okay so i'm gonna get this right here i'm gonna try to cut like a straight line and then i'm going to um, form like a y and i don't know if it's gonna work guys but i think it's worth a try i have this laying around that i don't really use so here you go i'm gonna cut it like this to kind of form a little um straight line maybe i should try just like this to see if it's better but i'm gonna go ahead and form the y okay so yeah this is looking pretty pretty rough um do it yourself rct ball so i replicated the y right there i probably want to hit it from here um i'm not sure what happens if i hit it there but um uh, i will test it either way okay so i got the ball ready uh now remember all we're doing is looking for those spin numbers uh the unit normally gives me italic numbers which means that it's calculated so and sometimes when i use the dots it gives me uh the actual numbers but it's very very uh, difficult um it's like hit or miss sometimes it does it sometimes it doesn't do it uh now with this i'm replicating it just like the rc ball rct ball um so i'm gonna just focus on the spin numbers and see if if it reads it shot after shot the first i'm just gonna hit a ball without any dots any metal parts okay i have a nine iron i have everything set up i didn't warm up so it's probably not gonna be as good but uh, it's just for testing Let's see. Let's look at this. Look at these spin numbers. That's what we're focusing on. Okay, and this is what I mean. See it right here is in italic. Okay, I got my carry distance, all my info, but this is what I'm focusing on. This is italic, so that means it's calculating. The unit is, is not actually measuring, it's calculating it. Okay, so now I'm gonna hit this ball. First, I'm gonna try this way and see if it works. Okay, we're ready. Look at this guys. Oh my goodness. Look at this. <laughs> this means that it did not calculate it. Uh, it's not calculated. So it's actual the spin of the ball. Um, wow. Okay. I don't know if that was just the case, but let's look at the ball. Okay. Well, let's see if it works again. I'm going to place it. I placed it this way. So I hit from this part. Okay. There's no gimmicks here guys. So let me just show you to be transparent. I'm putting it right there. I'll put it like that. I don't remember if I put the Y on the top or not, but got my my nine iron. Let me just show you. Okay, so I'm setting the camera back here. No gimmicks. I'm gonna take the shot and see if it see if it works again. I didn't hit that well, but let's just look at the spin numbers. Let's just look at the spin numbers. Oh my goodness, look at that. Look at that, guys. That's, that is, um, that is reading it. It's not calculating it. 
You see that right there? Okay. Let me take another shot. I'm gonna put the camera back here, okay? No gimmicks. I got the ball right there. My night iron. Okay, hit it off the toe, I think, but let's see. Did not that hit, did not hit it well, but look at this. The spin Ready. numbers, they're not calculated. They're actually read by the unit. Wow, uh, you saw that. I didn't uh, do any tweaks or anything like that. This is the ball that I hit right there. So what does that tell me? I don't know. Is it, uh, I'm going to try with all the clubs, obviously, so I, I will do that. But so far, I'm impressed. I mean, wow. I'm getting some spin numbers that are not calculated just by attaching some metal parts to the golf ball. So guys, let's try a six iron right here. Again, same ball. Uh, it's a Wilson stuff with a little uh, metal parts on it, uh, replicating the RCT ball, okay? Again, I'm gonna put the ball down in here. I'm gonna put my camera down here, okay? I'm not um, doing any there is no gimmicks or anything like that, okay? Ball down here. I'm gonna get a shot with my six iron. Let's see what happens. And yeah, that was a little low. But anyways. Yards. Let's look at the spin. Ready. Look at that. Spin. It's not calculated, it's the actual spin, guys. Wow, that is crazy. Okay, let me do something. Let me go back to just a normal ball. Okay, normal ball without any 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 metal parts on it, okay? I'm gonna set the ball down here. Still play my six iron, okay? And let's see what it says. I'm gonna set it down right here. I don't wanna put it in front of the Mevo. All right, six iron, get a shot. All right. Let's look. Ready. Look at that. The spin is in italic right there. This means that it's calculating. This is calculated. The one before it wasn't calculated. Okay, so, so far I hit uh, three, four shots with my six iron and my nine iron and I read the, the spin numbers to perfection. I mean, this is what I'm doing right here. I didn't do anything else. I didn't, I didn't put anything inside the ball or anything like that. So that I'm just completely amazed. I mean, that's crazy. I don't know if, it, I mean, I wonder why nobody else tried this before. So are the results good? I don't know, I, cu I couldn't tell you that. I mean, I don't, it feels right. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna try my driver. I know my spin numbers on my driver are probably from 2000 to 3000. So maybe I can um, I can have some, a good comparison there. So let's try the driver. Okay, again, I'm just going to the driver here. First shot, I'm not doing anything Ready. to it. I'll set the ball down. I didn't warm up, so I don't know how the driver's gonna be, but I'll try my best. We're focusing on the spin numbers, okay? so. All right. Let's see, not, not a good shot, but let's look at the spin. That's all we're working on. And this one, I can't tell, is that italic? Yeah, that's italic, so it didn't, it calculated this time. Could it be because I pulled it? Let's try another one. I pulled it again. Carry is 191.6 yards, ready. Actually, I hooked it. It was really bad, but look, it did, um, 
uh, uh, read it. Okay, so these are the speed numbers for my driver, and yeah, some were calculated, some were real. Um, but I think I got it. I think what happened, I, will, I was playing around with the position of this. I think what I, what I need is to put another bar right here and another bar right here. I feel like uh, that should probably make it uh, more consistent. So I'm going to go ahead and add two more of this to this side right here. Uh, as far as the irons though, it read it every single time. So. All right, so I completed the Y on the other side and I'm gonna hit it from different parts, but something tells me that this is probably gonna work better than uh, just having it on one side. Uh, again, for the irons, it works. So far, it works on every single shot. So let's try it out like this with a driver. All right, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Wow. So far, so good. So this wasn't calculated. It was uh, it was read from the unit. Look at this. Could it be reliable? I don't know. I don't know about that, but it's definitely interesting. Okay, the last three that I hit, it read the spin numbers. I'll show you what I'm doing now. I'll uh, just go back to the normal uh, view. Okay, so this is what I'm doing. I'm teeing up the ball like this. Uh, the Y here to one end and the Y to the other end. So this is what I'm doing. Like this, like that. Kind of like that from, that's the look. And for the last three shots, it's been like that. It's been reading it without any problem. So let me take this shot as well. Again, no gimmicks or anything. I'm not trying to, to do, uh, you know, trying to, to fake or something. So. Let's see if you reach it this time too. All right. Carry is 213.9 Ready. Look at the spin. This is the fourth time in a row that it ran. It, it read the spin number. Look at that. It's not italic. So it's working, guys. Do, let me do another one just for... Just to be clear, I mean, I know, just to be transparent, I'm not trying to to um, do a fake video or anything like that. I have no no interest in doing that. So, okay, put it down like this. Look at the Y. Okay, set my camera over here, and I'm gonna try to hit a good drive. All right. Not the greatest. That was a really bad drive. And look at that. Spin red. And it was a bad, it was a pull. So, but look at this. It is, I felt like I put a lot of spin on that one. Look at this. So it is working, guys. Okay, let's check out the numbers again. I've been hitting a lot of ones. A lot of shots look at that I read it again now uh, let me go to the table and show you exactly ready what's going on here spin numbers uh, right here see how initially it was random and then look at the last ones for the past like 10 it read the spin number perfectly that's amazing that's amazing all right guys so that was it for the video so that's quite interesting for me to uh, to read the spin numbers uh is it you know i don't know how good that is if it's accurate you know it feels accurate to me and i think that's just an easy solution if you don't have access to the to the rct balls um apart from the price because they're quite expensive too so um i would say that you know these are pretty good i mean i will have to inquire further i'm gonna analyze this the um all the ball speed and everything you know to see if it's accurate or not but uh, it does feel like I mean that's what the unit is telling you it's telling you that it's reading the spin so 
all we're doing is just helping the unit read the spin numbers and when it when it's not in italic it means that it's reading the spin numbers so i would say that is accurate in my opinion so anyways i hope you enjoyed that guys uh try it out let me know what you think uh, it's quite easy uh you have to just buy this metallic uh, labels and just form the y there may be other ways to do it uh this is just the way i saw it uh you know i kind of tried to replicate the way the rct balls were made uh, so i kind of made, made the y shape there for me it worked better when i made the y shape on both sides uh, but again, it could be other ways to do it, uh, especially with the driver. The driver was amazing because it worked every single time with the Y shape on both ends. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.